Hi, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield here aboard the International Space Station saluting the Air Cadets of Canada. With me is the official logo of the Air Cadet League of Canada. And I brought it here on board to show my support for the organization and to everyone who is a part of it. As a kid, after I saw the Apollo 11 landing on television, I dreamed of following in the footsteps of my heroes at the time, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin and, and uh, Alexei Leonov. But the possibility of becoming a Canadian astronaut seemed unlikely at best, as there was no Canadian space exploration program at the time. Basically, impossible. But nevertheless, my dreams of flying did not abate. And as soon as I was old enough, I enrolled in the Air Cadets. From that moment on, I was put on a path from which I never looked back. I learned how to fly gliders when I was 15 years old. And from there, it was just a short jump to getting a powered scholarship and learning to fly in London, Ontario. Then I chose to serve in the Royal Canadian Air Force. I moved on to fly fighters, to fly CF-18s and be a test pilot. And finally, years later, to be accepted as an astronaut into the Canadian Space Agency. And now, I have the incredible honor to be the first Canadian commander of the International Space Station. And sure, the cadets got me going with the technical skills that I needed in order to fly airplanes. But it was really the intangibles, the self-discipline, the understanding of the necessity for teamwork, and the leadership building skills that I really attribute to getting me to where I am today. So I congratulate you on joining the Air Cadets. And in the future, in whatever you do, keep your eyes fixed on the horizon and trust the skills that you have and that the, the League has imparted to you. You never know what opportunities might come your way. Live your dreams per Ardua at Astra. Every single day, you're the result of what you did on the days prior. So if you turn that around, you can start turning yourself into who you want to be based on what you decide to do today. What food do you put in your mouth? What book do you read? What uh, movie do you watch? What do you do with your spare time? Do you study? Do you learn something? But if you just sort of make deliberate choices with your life, it's amazing after a week or a month or a year, the changes that you can affect. And you literally turn yourself into the person that you're going to become. Check the forward band is visible. It is. And the snap back pull and gap checks. Life very seldom goes as planned. My, mine sure didn't. I couldn't count the number of dead ends I ran into, setbacks, uh, serious problems, minor problems, opportunities that looked like a sure thing that didn't pan out. The key is to accept them. I decided a long time ago that I wanted to be an astronaut, but I realized the odds were terrible. So I thought, well, let's head in the direction that I like. Let's do things on the way that if, if I don't make it all the way to the very impossible end of the ultimate job that I might love to do someday, that each of the things that I'm doing on the way are things that I like doing and that I would be happy to stay at. So I did that. I went to university and started engineering. I loved engineering. It was interesting and challenging. I became a military pilot. Flying a CF-18 is a tremendous privilege and responsibility. I went to test pilot school. And at each one of those stages of life that kind of built on each other, I would have been happy to stop and say, this is my profession. This is who Chris Hadfield is. Don't measure the success of your life by one thing at the end. Measure the success of your life by each of the small victories along the way. Five, four, three, two, one, and lift off. Tom Marshburn, Roman Romanenko, and Chris Hatfield making their way towards the International Space Station. All parameters are normal. We copy. It's all on board. We are feeling well. 